target discussion 6.12. So this one says, can the total work done in an object during a displacement be negative? So if I add up all the works, can I have a net negative number? Well, if I have a block that's sliding and I let go of it, it's gonna slide to a stop. Okay, so what was happening there was there was work done by friction, in which case the force of friction was opposite the direction of the displacement, so I had negative work. So yes, it's possible to have a total net negative value. It also wants to know, can the magnitude be larger than the initial kinetic energy of the object? Meaning, if I start with, say, 50 joules of kinetic energy, and I remove 50 joules, so I remove all of the kinetic energy, the object has come to a stop. Can I remove more kinetic energy from the, that object? And the answer here is no. You can't slow it down any more than stopped. Now this idea also resonates with absolute zero. So for absolute zero, we're talking about the kinetic energy of the molecules vibrating. And if you remove all of that kinetic energy of vibration of those molecules and you bring them to a stop, you've reached absolute zero. You can't remove any more kinetic energy from that scenario. So similar to that.